Today, in the SER, Grant will be sharing a video of... System Test 2 of my ISA Fire and Security Board. Hello guys, so this is going to be System Test 2 of um, my... ISA fire and security board um, as you guys may know if you watch this video they um, gave this board to me for free so thank you for that um, I got some tape over the system sensor specter alert advance um, horn only because it's really loud and yeah um, here's my system sensor specter alert remote strobe set on 15 candela um the notifiers um this will flash if it's an alarm and this will turn on if there's trouble there is a trouble i just really don't have the batteries in at, at right now but yeah um here is my firelight bg 12 l and the system sensor i3 i'll be dis demonstrating all this and here is the panel Got, my keychain has gotten really big, if you haven't noticed. It used to be like only one key. <laughs> Two keys. So here's the panel. Um, I made some little instructions for my parents how to operate it. Um, so this system, I've been playing around with the dim switches a little. So I have um, verification. So I will pull this and the panel will wait about 20 to 30 seconds just like asking the pull station are you really pulled are you really pulled and then after about 30 seconds it's going to say yes and the panel is going to say okay i'm sounding the alarm it's all going to go off put it so yeah so i guess and this is set on co3 low volume and yeah so here we go three two one and so now it's activated and it's saying are you really pulled are you really pulled and it's saying yes 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 and it's, they're like arguing back and forth and well yeah never mind okay here we go Alarm silence, and I'm going to go ahead and reset the full station. The silencing feature on panels is meant for so you can go reset the pull station in the building without the alarms go, um, going off in your ears because, like, you know, everybody's already evacuated. I have the alarm still off, and uh, let's just go ahead and re alarm it. I'm going to now use the i3 and I'm going to test it two different ways. I'm going to be testing it first with a uh, nail through the little hole and I'm going to be testing it with some solo smoke that I have. So, so now I have my nail and just go ahead and stick it in the little hole and this does not have verification. This panel is you don't even have to press acknowledge if you want to. If you want to just go ahead and press alarm silence, you can and it'll automatically acknowledge it. So, and all I have to do is system reset. Okay, now I'll be testing the smoke alarm with some solo. And um, I forgot to point this out at the beginning of the video, but as you can see, I did some changing. This is now up on the wall, and I have a few boards of smoke detectors around it. And you may be wondering the blankets right there. Well, there's a surprise on the other side of the blankets I don't want you seeing. And so, yeah. So, Solo, um, ISA Fire and Security also gave me this stuff. It works really great on smoke detectors. And, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and spray it. Let's see what 
that does. Verification and I'm actually just going to take this off and blow on it just to make sure it's all out. And you see it's saying fire alarm, zone one trouble because I just took it off. Isn't that interesting? So. And it stopped. So now, um, I'm also going to show you another feature. I'm going to show you a walk test. Um, well, actually zone disable first. And then walk test. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable zone one. And now it's disabled. Go ahead and acknowledge that. Come on, acknowledge. Okay. I don't know why um this camera hasn't been focusing lately. Usually it's great. So um. Okay, so now um zone one is disabled as it's saying. It's saying trouble. And. So if I go ahead and uh, spray some of that solo stuff in it again, it won't go off. I'll quickly demonstrate that just for the sake of it. So it's not going to go off since it's disabled. So that's one of the um, good things about panels that you can disable zones because if you're like doing a smoke test, um, yeah, I just blew it out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, press the button again, or I think I'll just actually reset it. So I reset and yeah. Okay, so now it's all reset, and I'm gonna be demonstrating one more thing with this awesome system. Um, walk test. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. Come on. There. Now it's flashing system trouble walk test. And so let's go ahead and do a walk test. First get my keys out. Lock. So and smoke detector. Smoke detector has had a lot of testing today. There it goes. Okay. So yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of walk test by just pushing reset. You guys, one last thing. Um, I'm kind of holding this up with my hand. Um, as you know, I just got this and. So push like if you think this stopper will look good on the board. Because like, yeah. So push like if you think the stopper would look good right here. I'm thinking of maybe putting it right here or somewhere else. But So yeah, push like if you think it will look good right there. So that was the video of my fire alarm mini system board thing system test 2. Okay. Bye people. Have a nice day.